trombone isn't really much different from its medieval predecessor, known as the sackbut, with its distinctive S-shape, hand slide, and bell section. It's a blast from the past, and a pretty loud one, but it can also sound smooth and mellow. Making a trombone flare is a delicate business and is the work of a skilled craftsman. Getting it right is critical because the shape will affect the tone of the trombone. Now he pieces the tubes together and solders them the same way a plumber joins copper tubing. He adds a loop for the valve section. In total, a brass trombone has nine feet of tubing. Straightened, that's enough to reach from the floor to the ceiling. But of course, trombone makers are more interested in musical highs and lows.